Our current understanding of general relativity is a classical theory of gravity, and it does not fully account for quantum effects at the singularity. A complete theory of quantum gravity is necessary to describe the very earliest moments of the universe. One approach is to consider time as an emergent property, rather than a fundamental one. In some theoretical frameworks, time as we perceive it might not exist at the most fundamental level of reality, but instead emerges from a more primitive state. For instance, in certain quantum gravity models, space-time itself might be discretized, meaning it is not continuous, but made of tiny fundamental units. In such a scenario, the smooth flow of time might only become apparent at scales much larger than these fundamental units. At the Planck scale, the earliest conceivable moment time might be so different that our familiar notions of before and after simply do not apply. It could be that time as we know it crystallized or condensed out of a pre-geometric quantum foam, a state where space and time are not yet distinct. Several prominent theories of quantum gravity offer different perspectives on the Big Bang singularity and what might have preceded it. Loop quantum gravity, or LQG, is one such candidate theory. In LQG, space-time is not continuous, but is quantized into tiny discrete loops. This theory attempts to resolve the Big Bang singularity by suggesting that it is not a point of infinite density, but rather a quantum bounce.